Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can restrict access to an user to a single S3 bucket using IAM policies. You can use a bucket level policy or an user level policy. So in this demo, I'm going to create an user policy, assign it to an user and then using a different browser, we will try to see if that user access is restricted or not. Let us get over to my IAM dashboard. Before going to my IAM dashboard, I have opened my S3 uh, console here and you can see here there are plenty of buckets, but we are going to restrict our user to the one that is highlighted here, that is CLI demo bucket. So keep a note of that bucket name. Let us go to my IAM dashboard and the policies. I'm going to click on create policies. We are going to use a JSON policy. So move over to the JSON tab. And since I have the policy pre-written, I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to give the code to all of you so that you can also use this code to edit and make your own policies. So I'm just going to update my bucket name here in the policy, which says CLI demo bucket. And once again, I'm just going to change it here and click on review policy. So it is going to take me to the review screen where it's going to ask me my policy name. So I'm going to call it as S3. Let me just make it S3 and restricted bucket policy. I'm just going to use the same description here and then I'm just going to click on create policy and it will spin for a minute and then it will complete this process. So the next thing for us to do is create the user that is the IAM user and I'm going to call that as S3 restricted user and I'm just going to leave it as console access and I've already generated a password and put in there. So click on create perm next permissions. So I'm just going to refresh my screen so that the new permissions have been picked up and click on attach existing policies. So let us go ahead and see if we can find our new policy. So there we go, there we see that. So I'm just going to refresh it and make sure that we are picking up the new policy. So click on next, create user, and we should be given the URL for this user to sign in. So I'm going to use a different browser now. So I'm using the incognito mode of Chrome so that our cookies will not be set in here. And I'm going to log in now. So let me open my S3 console now. Here you can see here for all the other buckets, the ACL is shown as error and only for the CLA demo bucket, it is showing the ACLs. That means this user is able to access only this bucket. So I'm just going to open the other bucket in a different tab. Meanwhile, let me go ahead and click on this bucket. And you can see here it is opening the bucket and it is allowing me to make operations in this bucket. So there is an object which says thanks for watching. Whereas if I go to the other tab where we try to open a different bucket called access logs, it says access has been denied. So that is how you set up a user level policy for an IAM user and restrict access to that user for a single bucket and allow them to perform operations in that bucket. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.